Hey guys, this is AJ, and today I'm here to discuss and address something that happened um, dealing with an old friend and something that impacted with me and my friends that was really not okay and overall concerning. Um, so I, it also answers um, what's been going on with like these two random posts I made and why I made them. So I think it's I think it's time that all of you know why I have a problem with this person and why they shouldn't be back in the gotcha community anymore. Um, so yeah, I'm here to answer all your questions about that. But um, real quick, this video contains mentions of stab wounds, um, sexual stuff like um, sex and other stuff like that. And I have gotten permission to use these screenshots from the victim and a few of my other friends. So yes, let's go ahead and dive in about why I do not want Sunnytown, AKA Kwani back in this community anymore. So around when I first made my Skyverse server um, and I started getting members, I noticed that Kwani was, you know, already there, but they weren't really active. I read their bio and it said that they were grounded. So, you know, I just left it at that. And then I'm not sure how long, but um, I have noticed that Kwani has been talking more, participating in the chats and um, joking around with us. Cause you know, we do, we do joke around. And I thought, you know, this person is pretty cool. They're pretty nice. So when I started noticing that Kwani was giving compliments to the victim, the victim actually kind of liked it because, um, well, I'm not sure if I could say it, that's a little private, but I'll just say that the victim liked the compliments and the attention. So Kwani, you know, continued doing what they were doing. And sooner or later, they got together and they were a couple. So yes, they did get together at one point, but then things started to go downhill from there. The victim had received a random DM from Kwani saying that they had stabbed themselves and they did it just for the feeling. And that made the victim really uncomfortable. And then they kept asking them if they wanted to see it, which obviously nobody would want to see that. I remember in one of the chats, he had mentioned that the stab wound had hurt. And, you know, he was like scratching or itching. I was confused why they even had that, but now I know why. And again, it was really, really disturbing to find out why. They would also say some pretty sexual stuff too and about the victim. For an example, we have this um, chat in my server. Um, basically, if you would take this character out for a date or not, and you know, it's specifically for fictional characters or maybe jokes like famous actors or something like that. But then Kwani has sent a real life photo of the victim asking if we would um, sleep in bed with them, basically. And that was a huge red flag because first of all, this server is filled with minors, plus those two, they are minors. So that was firstly wrong. Secondly, is that they did not have permission from the victim to use that photo. So obviously that made the victim more upset and highly uncomfortable. Another thing that Kwani had did to the victim is that they kept begging them and asking them if they can meet up because I think they, that they lived in the same area. Um, and the victim kept telling Kwani no, but they were really, really persistent. So this isn't something that they did to the victim, but they did something to me. I'm not gonna say what happened, but in the end, Kwani ended up sending me some not safe for work art and it made me highly uncomfortable. Like I didn't ask and I didn't expect for them to send me that, but honestly, it was very, very inappropriate of them to send me that. And it's also the fact that th we're both minors. So obviously that's just really, really not okay. So when the victim had enough of Kwani's behavior, he decided to end things off with them and Kwani didn't like that. He kept spamming in the server some sort of poem or song, which made the victim more uncomfortable, and I ended up having to kick them out. So yes, Kwani made or threw a temper tantrum after they broke up, 
But after two weeks, we thought he had calmed down and accepted the fact that they were no longer together. So we decided that, hey, why not we could just let him back in because we thought his behavior improved. But unfortunately, we were very, very wrong. So after Kwani came back, he still continued to say inappropriate things about the victim and to the victim, which made pretty much everyone uncomfortable. And sooner or later, we had to confront him about his behavior. We did it multiple times, but here, here's an example of when me and another um, admin had confronted him. So we told him that he needed to stop talking about the victim like that, respect their um, boundaries, and you know respect them in general. Because honestly, nobody wants to hear all about that, about what they were talking about. So again, we addressed his behavior and he just replied with like, we're their bodyguards. So first of all, we're not bodyguards. We're trying to, to, we're trying to protect them from you and your crazy shenanigans or whatever you're trying to do, thinking that it's okay, but it's not. We're trying to tell you that it's seriously not okay, but you still just decide to do it anyway and not you know, contemplating about how they feel about it. You don't care that they feel uncomfortable with it. You just continue to do it. Another thing is that we have this Discord family and they are our... So that's another thing. And like family looks out for each other, blood related or not. And another thing, I am the owner of the server. So when I address something, that pretty much means you have to listen to me, especially if it's something important like this. You can't keep doing this. It was honestly one of the final straws that we had. They kept saying that they were gonna get over their obsession or crush with the victim, but I saw no signs of improvement and I think everyone in the server can agree with that. They would just flat out ignore me and the admins every time we would tell him not to do something. For an example, I saw him role playing in a chat with someone else and I saw things were getting heated so I asked them to not make it sexual um, for the sake of, you know, minors being in the server, including me and including them, by the way, they were both minors. The next morning I saw that they had made um, the role play sexual. Um, I, I saw the messages and it, it said um, two guys were in the shower together. And that honestly made me feel really upset because not only did you disobey me and flat out ignored me, but you just turned this whole thing sexual and there was a whole lot of minors there too who could have seen that and that was not okay. Another example is that me and my friends were jokingly talking about our OCs and characters being in Miraculous Ladybug and we jokingly said that Kiwi, a um, past um, enemy, um, saying that they would be Chloe or something. And then Kwani was like, maybe I should go ask them. And I seriously told them no, because we didn't want them to, you know, come and find us. Or we didn't want to disturb them because they had finally left us alone. And then I saw that they had asked Kiwi on their channel. And that just, again, made me really mad that they just flat out ignored me. So yes, those were examples of Kwani not listening to us and just basically um, ignoring us. And that also proved that Kwani doesn't really care about what others think or yeah, they just don't listen at all. So some side things that Kwani has done before I end the video. They accused of one of the admins of being a pedophile after mentioning, mentioning that they would want a child. He said that it was... Um, a misunderstanding but i think they were just trying to be funny which was again not okay because that made them feel uncomfortable and disgusted with kwani and honestly i feel like they should be disgusted with them because why would you even joke about that there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a parent when you grow up another thing is that they revealed that they have been looking up gay porn and tried to deny it but as a ios user myself um, the autocorrect um, doesn't just appear or that word doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Like you would have to type that repeatedly 
for that to pop up. So yes, again, that was very inappropriate of Kwani. So eventually we got fed up with his behavior and me and the admins talked it over and we decided to ban him for all of his behaviors and the stuff he did to the server, um, the rules that he broke in, and worst of all, what he did to the victim. I'm surprised of how long we tolerated his behavior, but enough was enough. We were all tired of Kwani, and honestly, I'm ashamed of myself for not doing anything sooner. And honestly, I should have um, just ended it all before it got even worse. And I apologize to the victim for them um, having to go through with this. So to summarize what Kwani has done, he has talked about sexual stuff too and about the victim while they are both being minors. He has accused one of the admins in my server about being a pedophile. He did not respect the boundaries that the victim had and he has disrespected um, the rules in my server majorly. So yes, these are all the bad things that Kwani has done. And honestly, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of him. And I hope he gets the help that he needs. But yes, this is why I think Kwani should be kicked out of the community. And just, I just hope that he stops with everything that he's doing because it's just, it's just wrong. Kwani, if you're watching this, you need to fix your mistakes. You need to, you gotta stop. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm just ashamed of you. You're, you're just awful. Just absolutely disgusting. And you make people feel uncomfortable with stuff. And yeah, you just, you just gotta go. You just gotta go. Cause you already got like two chances and you messed them up really, really bad. So yeah, I hope you get help, but you just gotta stop. <clears throat> So yes, this concludes the video of what Kwani has done to the victim and my friends in Discord. Um, this was a very informative video and I hope this helps and answers some questions that you guys might have had. I don't normally do videos like this, but I felt like you guys had to know what was going on. But yes, I hope um, everything um, is cleared now. And I apologize for, again, those two random posts I made without, you know, making this video. So, yeah, I apologize to the victim once again for them having to deal with this. And I hope that you will feel better. Um, but, yes, I had to address Kwani's behavior. And I hope that you guys understand what we've been going through. So this concludes the video. I hope you all have a great day and stay safe on the Internet because you don't know who to trust. And one more thing, if you see the red flags, don't push them away. You got to acknowledge them.